Hey everybody, so happy to see you guys. I'm Alessia, nutrition consultant, transformational plant-based coach, and founder of Via Sana Wellness, the healthy path to a diet-free life with the power of plants. I am so happy to be back on here talking to you guys. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. And I'm excited today to be speaking about one of my favorite subjects, digestion. So I'm going to be uh, chatting with you guys a little bit about digestion and why I think it's important um, and why I think it's related to weight loss because a lot of people don't actually realize that it is related to weight loss and they don't realize how just as how much it affects your weight loss uh, efforts and your overall health. I mean a lot of people are going and walking around with a lot of digestive issues not knowing that you know, they even have that issue. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about my journey as well and how, um, you know, I suffered with it for many years. I suffered with um, digestion issues and um, lots of different things that affected me. And so I think it's important to share with you a little bit about, you know, my journey and how I improved my digestive health. Um, so I'm going to wait for some people to hop on and while I share this. So um, I'd love to hear, um, you know, in the comments section below, um, you know, how is your digestion? Do you find it to be um, better since going plant-based or um, worse? You know, I know that I talk to a lot of people that when they've just transition to a vegan or a plant-based diet, they tend to get a lot of gas and a lot of bloating. So let me know in the comments below if that is something that's happening to you. And uh, yeah, just, you know, let me know. I always want to hear from you and I always want to know how, you know, um, you're getting on, on your wellness journey and definitely share this video with anybody you think might benefit from. So today's topic is going to be about digestion. So I'm going to be sharing three steps with you to better digestion and how you can stop feeling bloated, constipated, gassy, uncomfortable, maybe suffering with like acid reflux, how to get that get get rid of that and um, how it's going to improve your weight loss efforts. So the three steps. So a little bit about digestion. So digestion is everything. Okay, everything. It's so important. It's so key. The studies have now shown that the gut is your second brain. That means that so many functions and hormones are being produced in the gut, um, which is your digestive tract. And um, that really plays a huge role with your metabolic um you know, me metabolic uh, functions and metabolism and how your body processes food. So they say that you are what you eat. However, it's not that you are what you eat, it's you are what you absorb. So absorption is absolutely key to good health and to lasting weight loss and to finally get rid of those you know pounds and um, fat that you have been carrying around so absorption is really really key so some have really supersonic digestion some people can eat anything and they will digest it really fast they will go to the bathroom really fast and things just kind of move through their bodies pretty quickly and I am at that stage right now where my digestion is pretty pretty good now um, and things move really really fast and I'm very regular thank God because let me tell you I was not there a couple of years ago way before my plant-based journey I was an absolute wreck, guys. My digestion was a wreck. I have been suffering with digestive issues since I was like young, in my early teens, um, eat all the way through to my 20s. And let me know in the comments below if this is something that you've also been struggling because it's, you know, it's nice to know that there are people out there who also suffer with this and, you know, you might inspire someone else to kind of take action. So where I was, I was in a place of serious issues. I could not fix it. I was chronically constipated. And when I talk chronically constipated, I'm talking to you. I know it may be TMI for you guys, but 
this is important. You know, this is really, really important and it needs to be shared. Um, I was chronically constipated and I was getting really, really bad, bad stomach cramps and I was constantly suffering with hemorrhoids. I was suffering with um, cramping, bloating, like my stomach would bloat up and it would be like really, really hard and uncomfortable. Um, there would, you know, I... It was terrible because I had this, I was in a situation where I would get this, you know, the stimulus to go to the bathroom, but I couldn't go to the bathroom because it was so painful to pass. So that is something that, you know, I think a lot of people suffer, especially a lot of people that are still on a meat and dairy diet. Um, so I think it's really important to share that. So some experience you know, amazing digestion and some people just have shitty digestion, no pun intended. So they experience bloating, they experience really bad gas, like almost after every meal, they experience acid reflux and heartburn, stomach cramps, stomach pain. These are all symptoms of digestive uh, poor digestive health. So I was there and I totally understand and it took me many, many years to finally come to this place where I am at now that I can I can thank the plant-based lifestyle and the plant-based diet um, and certain protocols within the plant-based diet that have helped me get better and that have helped me get away from that constant pain. I mean, you know, some days I still suffer with it because let's face it, uh, you know, 20 years of bad digestion versus only a few years of a plant-based diet, you guess. It's going to take a long time to rebuild my gut, but I'm much, much better. I'm in a better place and I can understand how my digestion works now and fix it and really be aware of it. Um, and it definitely doesn't affect me as much as it used to. So um, definitely like, comment, and share if you're finding this useful. And let me know in the comments below what you're suffering from in terms of digestion. So today I'm going to share with you three ways or three steps that you can take that will help you get better digestion so you can stop feeling these horrible feelings of bloating, constipation, gas, acid, reflux, stomach pain, all that crap. <laughs> okay. so. The first one is proper food combining. A lot of people, me included, had no idea what or how important it is to food combine. So eating the right combination of foods to optimize better digestion. So what does that mean? So first of all, it means that fruit must always be eaten by itself, okay? Or at least 20 minutes before your main meal. Why? Because fruit takes 20 minutes to digest between 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the fruit. Melon, watermelon, always needs to be eaten on its own, mixed with no other foods and no other fruits. Um, sweet fruits and acid fruits and sub-acid fruits. The three types must all be combined and eaten differently. So sweet fruits must not be combined with acid fruits because they require two different enzymes to digest. So what happens is that, you know, you have a fruit salad thinking that it's going to be really good for you and then you feel bloated and gassy afterwards. Um, why? Because your body or digestive system, your gut is competing for, you know, which food to digest first. So it's taking a lot longer, more energy expenditure, and then there's fermentation. So fermentation happens when you have one type of food in your stomach and then you put on top of it another food that doesn't match the same enzymes that require to break it down, and then you get fermentation, which means that you start getting the bacteria that produce gas, and that's why you start to have gas, because that bacteria is overgrowing in your stomach. So always have fruit beforehand, 20 minutes. Um, and you know, if you, if you tend to have a lot of gas and low energy and you feel like your system is like, you feel slow and sluggish after a meal, it's because it's wrong food combining and your body is competing to, you know, doesn't know what it's doing. So the second one is starches and vegetables must always be combined. So starches are good to be eaten with vegetables. So whole grains, sweet potato, potato, starchy veg are good with non-starchy veg, veg like greens and 
you know, things like zucchini or eggplant um, or peppers, um, green beans. So starchy veg are great combined with uh, non-starchy veg. But if you throw in protein with a veg, so protein and veg is good, but protein and starch isn't good. Again, it's the enzymes. So protein requires an acidic environment in your stomach to process, whereas starches require a different enzyme, usually amylase, which is a starch-based or sugar-based enzyme. And Again, it's competing for, you know, which one should do the work first. And so it causes fermentation. It causes the stomach to go into overdrive and cause fermentation, aka causing gas. Um, and also, you know, too many, uh, when you combine uh, too much grains or too many whole grains or starchy vegetables with a fat, this actually can cause constipation because fat, again, needs an acidic environment to be broken down, okay? So that's the first step. So proper food combining is extremely important. The second one is pro um, adding a healthy probiotic into your diet or fermented vegetables. This is one way of more so rebuilding your gut health and keeping your gut health in check. So I never used to really know about this and I, I never used to eat fermented vegetables. Like I used to eat yogurt, but it was always full of sugar and it was dairy based and it was just, uh, it was just a mess. Um, but now when I want to um, have, you know, fermented veggies, I will usually have either cultured vegetables like sauerkraut or kimchi. Um, pickles. Um, sometimes I will add some type of plant-based yogurt, um, but I try and keep it low sugar. And I also think, you know, things like kombucha and, you know, incorporating kefir, if you can find it, are also great. So why, why, why I recommend cultured vegetables and probiotics, because everyone talks about probiotics, but nobody really tells you why you need them. Well, the reason is our gut contains over a hundred trillion, trillion bacteria, okay? So in there, it's a party, okay? It's a party. And so what is, what happens when it goes, you know, off balance is that the bad bacteria starts eating or getting rid of the good bacteria and overpowers and the bad bacteria produce gas. They produce gas. And so they cause havoc, okay? And they cause candida, um, causes all these horrible things that we don't want, okay? And, you know, it's so important why because when you're not absorbing nutrients properly you are not getting the nutrients into your body obviously so what does your body do it goes into starvation mode because it's not getting the nutrients you may be eating but it's not absorbing so then you're you're, you're lacking in the nutrients you're you're going into starvation mode and then what does ha happen it causes elevated cortisol into your bloodstream and then what does that mean? It causes inflammation. And then inflammation causes weight gain. So that is why I always address it when I work with my clients. I always look at digestion first to fix the digestion issues because there is a direct correlation always to digestion and weight loss. Um, a lot of the clients that I work with are coming this are the same as me. They're coming from a place of bad digestion. They're coming from a place where they're eating lots of meat and lots of dairy and um, not food combining properly and trying to diets constantly. And their digestion is mess. And so, um, you know, I help them fix that first because it's so important. Okay. So the third step is reducing stress. Stress is a huge, huge factor in the absorption of nutrients, in the digestive health of your gut, and the integrity of your gut lining. So again, it's all to do with cortisol. When there's stress in the body, elevated cortisol, aka inflammation, and your adrenals come in and overdrive. And it's just, it's one thing connecting to the other, but all stemming from bad digestion, okay? So, you know, your gut, like I said, it is like the second brain. So many mood uh, hormones are released in the gut. And, you know, um, 
so much of what goes on in our body is affected by the gut health. And so stress is a huge factor. And when you're eating on the go or you're eating in a stress stress situation where, you know, for example, emotional eating, you're in, you're stressed, you're emotional, and then you're eating, it plays havoc on your digestion. So those are my three top tips, guys, or top steps. Now, what does this mean for you? It means that I want to offer you to come onto my Thrive with Plants 14 day program. It's an amazing program. It's a beginner program where you can start at the very bottom, especially if you're in transition to a plant-based diet, especially if you're beginners on this lifestyle, if you have, you know, tried to lose weight and you're still not losing it or you've gained weight, um, you know, even if you're a junk food vegan or you want better digestion but you have no idea where to start and or you've come onto this lifestyle and you're just so gassy and constipated or maybe you're just going to the bathroom too much, you know, this is also something that doesn't quite, you know, work. So if you want better hair, skin and nails, all these things are you know, what we're going to work on in my Thrive with Plants 14 Day Slim Down program. It's not a diet. It is a lifestyle. It brings you on to a program where everything is laid out for you. It teaches you how to eat, when to eat, what to eat, um, what ways that you can optimize digestion to optimize fat loss, um, to optimize uh, absorption of nutrients. You can lose up to 10 pounds in just 14 days because it's my signature system where we address the underlying issue. I'm not saying that you're going to be fixed in two weeks. I just want to be clear with you, but it's a start. It's a place where we can restart, press the restart button and say, okay, we're going to restart now our system. This is how to eat and we're going to restore the integrity of your gut and your digestion. You can gain clarity and energy, get lean, get better digestion, get rid of all that gas and bloating, um, and you learn how to eat for life, okay? And you get a one-to-one -one session with me where we can go much deeper and more one-to-one. -one. Um, you will learn how to plan meals, how to assemble meals that are nutrient-dense, proper food combining, how to listen to your body, what works and what does not work, how to keep a food diary, because we're not counting calories in this program. I want to make that clear. And how food makes you feel, um, it's much more than just a program that you will see out there. There's a lot of programs out there that just give you a plan and you know it's generalized and it's just not really very educational. My, I want to give you the power. I want to empower you to take back control over your health because I was exactly where you are. Um, it tell you know it teaches you how to stop cravings, how to handle sugar cravings, sugar addiction, which is huge, and sugar feeds the bad bacteria in your gut. So all of these things you're going to learn in 14 days. You're going to get private one-to-one -one support from me. You're going to get community support. You're going to be plugged into a, a, an amazing community where you can get lots and lots of tips. Um, you're going to get tons of amazing low GI recipes that will help you blast off the fat. And this is an amazing program, and I'm launching it in October, October 16th, which is just closer to the holidays. And so it's really, um, you know, perfect timing to just do this program now. Um, you're going to get a food diary, a tracker, supporting documents. I mean, this is just a glance of what you're going to be getting in this program. So early bird registration is now open. The link is in the description of this video. So definitely go check it out. Early bird registration is open. The price is going to increase on October 2nd. So definitely get your early bird now. Um, and don't miss out. Join us. I've got such an amazing group of ladies already coming on to this program. So definitely join us. Um, and if you're a man, you can join us too. It's not only for the ladies. Um, so that's all I want to talk to you about today is just three steps, three steps that we talked about. Food combining, probiotics, and reducing stress. Now I've got a a fourth tip, a bonus tip for you guys that you can find in my Plant Powered Wellness Warriors group. I'm going to be posting the link down in the description, uh, sorry, not in the description, in the uh, comment section of this 
uh, video. So you can come to the private Facebook group and you can find that fourth bonus tip, which is one of the most important tips. Um, so I'm going to be dropping the link in the comments right now that you can head over and get that fourth bonus tip for you. Um, so <clears throat> I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day, and I hope you enjoyed this live stream and this training. Definitely share it if you feel like anyone will benefit from it. And don't forget, early bird registration is now open for the Thrive with Plants 14-day program. So don't miss out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing, amazing day.